Hello stock gurus and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at Apple, AAPL. The reason we're looking at Apple is because tomorrow is going to be the iPhone 12 announcement and Apple's iPhone event where they're expected to release a range of new iPhones, up to four new phones with apparently a big different upgrades compared to normal. Um, the last time we had some big actual upgrades was in 2017. Since then, it's been relatively small features that have been added to the iPhones, but apparently on tomorrow's um, event, we're going to have a big reveal with four iPhones, four new iPhones and some other um, possible uh, product that they're going to be selling. So we're going to be looking at Apple today. We're going to look at the news about Apple, this event that's going to be happening tomorrow. We're going to do a technical analysis on Apple. So we're going to look on the monthly, the daily and the one hour timeframes. And I'm going to predict what's going to be happening with the price in Apple. We're going to do technical analysis on the charts and I'm going to walk you through it step by step how to do it. And we're going to try and exactly predict what's going to be happening for Apple for the price today, October 12th. We're going to look at the price and the targets to be buying. So make sure you watch to the end to get those target prices, what times, what prices I would be buying Apple stock at. And then on, we're going to do that on the hourly, the daily and the monthly. So we're going to be looking at what's going to happen today with the price, trying to predict its exact movements. Then we're going to try and predict what's happening to the week and then the Apple price for the long term for the next few years. Then we're going to do a small fundamental analysis on Apple, looking at the news about this event, this iPhone 12 event tomorrow, looking at some of their quarterly earnings reports. If you want to see a detailed fundamental analysis, you can do so in the description below the previous Apple video, where I go deeply into their fundamental analysis, their financial records, and I look at their profit loss statements and balance sheets. You can see that video in the description below. And congratulations all the stock gurus. We've hit now 5,100 subscribers. So amazing growth. We're really, the channel is growing amazingly well. So keep using this comment section as a way to communicate between each other find amazing stocks and I am reading all your comments there's quite a lot of them but I'm reading them all and any comments you ask me any companies you want me to analyze leave them in the comments they are being added to a list and because YouTube has activated this membership section we had 5,000 subscribers so a new membership section has been added where we have now a stock guru membership so in that you join a private channel with other stock gurus where we can talk between each other a strong community where we can communicate about stocks find amazing stock picks find amazing news that's coming about stocks um, the membership X section also grants you a 30% discount on the Stock Guru Master Course, where you have an eight hour video course um, learning everything you need to know about the stock market, how to do technical analysis. If you've been buying stocks and you've been losing money, buying companies that don't go up or you're not sure when to be buying stocks, what prices to put, you can learn all this in the Stock Guru Masterclass in the description or the pinned comment below, or you can go to www.stockguru.us. So let's jump into the technical analysis for Apple now. Now we're on the technical analysis for Apple Inc. on the monthly charts. Each of these candles are representing one month. Now, if you're looking at these charts and you're panicking and thinking this is overwhelming, I'm going to explain to you, it's very easy. I'm going to explain technical analysis to you. So here we're looking at the monthly. So each one of these candles is representing one month. So this big red month, this red, red candle here was representing September. Um, of this year, just last month, September. And that, you can see the high was 137 for Apple and the low was 103. That's what that candle represents. In this technical analysis, we're using a few different indicators. RSI, stochastic, volume, support and resistance lines. These orange, those orange lines. So let's explain what some of these are. So as you can see here, this the Apple stock in 2019 it came to here, hit this orange line at six, at $58, came down, came up to it again, close to it, hit it, came down, came up to it, and then it broke through here. So this orange line was a resistance, that orange line that it tried to break through twice before breaking through. Then it came up, went up, and then came back down. And now, because it was a previous resistance, it's now a support, which it used in the, February, in the March 2020 COVID crash. It bounced off that, now support, and went up. So before this was a resistance here and here, and then it became a support here. So that's a support and resistance lines, where in the beginning it was previous resistance trying to block the stock from moving up. That then becomes a support. So up here now is a new resistance at this all time high for Apple, which was sitting at $137. Next, we're looking at the volume. We can see the volume for Apple has increased. There's a lot of buying pressure going on. The volume is very strong here, green buying pressure. And as you can see here, it's a lot less and then now it's a lot more. So volume usually predicts price. A good indicator is a lot of volume usually indicates a big upward movement in price. And you can see a big spike in volume here. And then we had this big upward movement in price. 
the general trend, the first thing we're looking at when we're doing technical analysis is what is the trend of this stock? Which direction is this stock going? And Apple is going up. Since 2016, this stock has been trending up. If we even go to all time history of Apple, it's been massively trending up. So buying this stock is a good bet because you're going with the trend. The trend is your friend. Always remember that. The trend is your friend. And this trend on Apple on the monthly charts is going up. Stochastic is in the overbought territory and coming down. And same with the RSI. And that usually means overbought means too much buying has happened on this stock. So up here above these dotted lines, too much buying. Below these dotted lines, too much selling. So the stock is oversold if it's down there. And currently it's overbought. It's up above those dotted lines on the RSI and Stochastic, indicating that the stock would be coming down as it did. Um, as you can see here at the peak of the overbought and overbought, that's when we had this drop from this all-time high of 137 uh, and came down. However, this was the COVID fear pandemic here. So the stochastic on our side didn't come down too much when we had this big peak fear in March. So that indicates a lot of strength in Apple, meaning it won't come down too much. And in going into 2021, it will correct, but not by much, and then continue its upward movement. So we're looking, it possibly could come down on this support here and then keep heading higher. That's what could be happening for the monthly. However, there is a lot of buying volume right now. So we could have a rebound in price, but the best possible entry, I believe, is there's two points to enter that would be very good for Apple. At this $100 mark, which is sitting on this, this trend line that it's been following now. See how it was lower, went through this trend line, then broke above, and now it's following this trend line. So that's one place, $100 mark to be buying. The second place is if it does come down, we have a big support here and a support here at 81. So 100 is one support that would be a good buy. Also, you have a support at 81 and you have this big support here, which is this orange line at 57. However, I don't see it likely to come down that low. I think it would only come down to this $100 maximum before buying and continuing up on this trend line. If it does break through, 81 is a possible secondary buying target and would be a great entry. Let's go into the shorter time frames for Apple on the monthly. This was going into 2021. Let's go to see what's going to happen in the next few months. <clears throat> and now we're looking at Apple on the daily. So here I clicked on one year down here and then I get the daily chart. And this is looking at Apple, each of these lines now, this red and green lines that you saw here, each of these representing one day. So they're each representing one day. And as you can see, the trend of Apple is amazing upward direction still. The trend is always your friend and the trend of Apple is going up. And now you can see those trend lines that Apple was in for a long time, going back to 2019. You can see how it's been trending in these blue lines, these trend lines that I drew in. The way you get trend lines is you want to get the most touches on the line as possible. So it builds a trend line, the most touches that it touched the line as possible and some intuition. Um, so on the daily, the trend is going up for Apple. So buying the stock is your friend going with the trend. The trend is your friend. So buying is a very good indicator. Second, we have very big volume on, on Apple recently since September. Also, we had it here in March on that big spike up, that giant run up that it had from COVID. Its peak drop during the whole COVID pandemic was at 63, a low $57. So a great already 100% return there. So if you put $1 million into Apple, you now have $2 million just a few months later, which is amazing. So now Apple has been trending here since March going up and now it's entered this new channel since uh, before May. So around April it entered this new channel and it's gone from six, uh, $60 to now 116. So more than 100% run within this new channel and it's following along this blue line here. So we could have a continually following and the stochastic is showing it's overbought. However, the stochastic is heading back up again. So even though it's in the overbought territory, it's actually climbing again. So you can see here that the stochastic was in the oversold territory, which was here on the price of Apple. And then it went up and started moving up. And now it's heading towards overbought. And same with RSI. The RSI though is not yet in the overbought. It's still quite low in the neither oversold. And it's heading up also. So this is indicating we're gonna have a continuation of Apple climbing. Let's zoom in a little bit. So in, this is indicating me that Apple is going to keep climbing going into November. And on tomorrow's earnings, uh, the iPhone event, it looks like it is gonna come and try and touch this upper end of this trend line. 
this is a possibility it has a resistance a strong resistance here at the $129 mark so it's more than likely that Apple comes up to here and bounces off so going to into the end of October we come up to $128 target bounce off and then keep heading down onto this trend line and then before the American elections the, the Donald Trump election on the November 3rd looks like we'll be heading up to all-time highs for Apple that's what I see happening to the stock in the next few weeks and next few months going to November and going to the election this is indicating also that on November 3rd we have a big upward movement so that's kind of telling something it's saying that Donald Trump will win the November 3rd election that's the power of technical analysis and that's why I highly recommend you learn it you, you can predict real-world events with um, and I'll show you an example so if we go to here if we go during the pandemic you can see that Apple was hitting a big resistance here it kept trying to hit it and and breaking against it over and over and then you can see that the stochastic and the RSI came from the oversold and started to head down and that coincided with the with the COVID crash resetting the stochastic and RSI into the oversold from the overbought so that was an indicator there where it was trying to break this resistance kept failing and then the stochastic and RSI came down it was an indicator of a big drop happening that's the power of technical analysis you can predict this you can use these support resistance lines um, to find out when you're going to enter stock so if you've been buying stocks and you've been losing money or you're buying stocks and you don't know what price you should be buying the stock at um, a technical analysis is an amazing way to find that out based off previous support resistance lines based off the trend you can really and if you purchase the stock guru master course uh, in the description and the pinned comment below you will learn technical analysis it's an eight hour video course and you'll master technical analysis fundamental analysis how to buy stocks the best brokers for you how to fund the account and step-by-step -step video tutorials I show you the buttons to press and the settings to press to buy your stocks so again Apple is looking like for the next few um, weeks that uh, next few trading days it's going to try and bounce off this hundred and twenty nine dollar resist this support as trend line sorry going into tomorrow's event um, and then come down allowing it to bounce off this lower end of the trend line then coming to November 3rd moving up and trying to take all-time highs that's what I see on the technical analysis for Apple so now let's go into the shorter time frame for today's trading day Monday the 12th of October so now I switch to the three month here and now I'm looking at the hourly candlesticks so each of these candles are representing one hour on the technical analysis and we can see here so we're getting closer in to see what's going to be happening over the next few days to see what's going to happen for today's trading day the 12th so first thing I'm saying is we have a giant support here we have a very good strong support here at the $111 mark six dollars from where we currently are so it's very hard for it's it's a very big support for Apple to be able to bounce off if we come down it also looks like this chart is starting to coil and trend up and it's been hitting this resistance here for quite a while at the 116 it's been hitting it bouncing off hitting it bouncing off hitting it bouncing off hitting it. it's getting tighter here and it's really trying to coil up um, the stochastic is coming into the oversold and the RSI but they not have have not yet turned to head down they're both poised to head up so they're coming up strong into the overbought so we are going to have a retest up here and come to this $129 target so our target in the next few trading days is $129 if we break out today and break this resistance which I think Apple is going to do coming into tomorrow's event we're going to go up to this $129 mark and then um, coming into the, uh, 15 16 21st of October then we're going to bounce down head down onto this trend line and then continue high and break all-time highs that's what looks like is happening for today's trading day the 12th we're, go we're targeting $129 for Apple we just need to see an increase in volume and what we're also watching out for is this stochastic doesn't turn and head down if it turns and head down then we're coming back down to this support line here at the $112 this giant support $111 mark then bouncing off and heading up however I believe for today's trading day October 12th we're going to be heading up um, and trying to retake this $129 all-time high which is a beautiful target for Apple so let's go and look at the news now for Apple we're in Google Finance we just Google and type in Apple stock and you get Google Finance Apple Inc the ticker AAPL on the Nasdaq and as you can see already we're at $119 in pre-market we're already up 2.5 percent going to pre-market which is awesome on the way to that 129 high that I took pointed out um, trying to break its all-time high before this event that's tomorrow the Apple the iPhone event so $116 the chart is just a beautiful parabolic with this 88 cents back in 1983 
thirty cents, one dollar to two thousand four, two thousand five a dollar, two thousand six dollars, two thousand eleven eleven dollars, and then around uh, two thousand sixteen, Apple started a good parabolic from twenty seven dollars to forty seven dollars down to thirty nine, and then boom, one hundred and sixteen, one hundred and twenty nine at the high, one hundred and thirty. So imagine anyone who bought um, Apple, especially after two thousand sixteen, you moved, received that big parabolic run. We're going to look at some financials. So, um, Apple's market cap is now two trillion and three billion dollars. Two trillion dollar company, amazing. P ratio is only thirty five times. So price to earnings ratio. How much um, the value of the stock is? So this hundred and sixteen dollars, hundred and nineteen now. Sorry, almost hundred and twenty dollars. Compared to earnings per share, how much each share is earning? The price to earnings ratio is 35 times. A good company is 20 times. This is showing a strong growing company price to earnings, but not so overvalued. Um, for, put that in perspective, Tesla is 1,100 times. So it's quite highly overvalued price to earnings. Apple is relatively modest at 35 times. Even though it's a $2 trillion company, that's amazing. That's how much earnings they're making. Their 35 um, PE ratio with $2 trillion market cap, amazing. Um, Apple is about to hold the most significant iPhone event in years. Let's go through the news now. So it's about to hold the most significant event in years on Tuesday. So tomorrow's trading day, Apple is holding a launch, launch event where it will reveal this year's iPhone lineup. This year iPhone launch is a significant one. It could be the major case redesigned since 2018. And the ex expectation that Apple's new iPhones will support 5G cellular networks, have investors hoping for a big upgrade cycle. We expect this fall's launch to be the most significant iPhone event in years, Morgan Stanley analyst says this week. Um, this is the Tim Cook in the, their campus. On Tuesday, Apple is holding a launch event where we reveal this year's iPhone lineup. So they're going to um, introduce a new phone. Apple instead released new um, Apple Watches last month and pushed the iPhone announcement to October um, because of the whole pandemic. Still, the iPhone event launch is significantly expected to include the first major exterior redesign since 2017, when Apple released the iPhone X with facial recognition. This year's models will feature iPad-like edges with flatter sides compared to the gently curved sides of the current iPhones. They're going to expect it to receive, uh, release four separate iPhones at different at screen sizes. So quite a lot of, with over um, 231 million iPhones sold in the next four quarters. That remi remained the annual unit sales record until Apple stopped reporting unit sales in 2018. So everyone's expecting a big upgrade. Um, they're forecasting Apple to ship about 220 million iPhones in this, two in this fiscal 2021, which be would be up 22% year over year. So amazing growth for Apple, even though it's such a already huge company. Um, so the different kinds of phones, they're going to release four different phones and 5G. That's the news from the Apple iPhone event. Um, they could also release something even bigger, but we have to wait and see for tomorrow's event. However, the technical analysis was showing us that the price is going to be in, um, increasing. Apple prepares to launch 5G phones, iPhones in, into unread US market. Um, Judge backs Apple keeping Fortnite off the App Store until after a trial. Um, that makes no sense. I'm sure App Warren Buffett would love to see Apple trading below $100. No, he wouldn't because he owns... Um, Apple. Morgan Stanley says the new iPhone will drive Apple stock outperformance throughout 2020. Maybe they release some big kind of news. So no major news except for this event tomorrow, which will be when they release all the news. So we need to keep an eye out that. I'm not going to do a deep fundamental analysis on Apple because I did that just in a few videos ago. You can see in the description below. And nothing has changed since I last did that fundamental analysis, the annual fundamental analysis. So you can look into that on my broker, Charles Schwab. It's in the description below. You can watch the old uh, Apple um, technical analysis and fundamental analysis. This one, we're going to do the technical analysis, the charting I showed you in the stock. Then I'm going to do a brief fundamental analysis using their quarterly financials. And then we're going to go into the Dow to look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the 30 biggest companies in America, to see if we're going to have a green day or a red day in the market, overall market. The Dow represents the overall market because the 30 biggest companies. So Apple is an American multinational technology company headquartered in um, California, designs, develops, sells, consumer electronics, computer software, online services, it's one of the big tech companies. Founded in California in 1976, number of employees 137,000, revenue 260 billion, so huge revenue. 2019, they made 64 billion for the quarter, 13 billion net income, 20% profit margin. 21% profit margins on 64 billion in revenue, amazing. And they had cash on hand of $48 billion, almost 49 billion. 
forward to June 2020, after the whole COVID pandemic, their revenues didn't drop much at all, 59 billion. Their net income is still 11.2 billion, so their net profit margin 18%. Amazing, amazing. Cash on hand, they have 33 billion, so they bought somewhat out. But amazing revenue and amazing profits on and a good profit margin. The only company I know that's better profit margins is Facebook with 30% profit margins, but still a huge company, Apple is, and they're still doing amazingly well in growth. This is their quarter four earnings expectations, 70 cents. They haven't reported yet and expected revenue 63 billion. The Q3 report, um, which has already came out, was expected 52 cents, reported 64 cents, 24% surprise, which is amazing because they're still growing. They're in the still growth phase of their company, even though they're at $2 trillion. Revenue 52 billion, reported 59 billion, 13% surprise. So Apple did amazing. So again, if you want to watch the full fundamental analysis where I go deep into the fundamental analysis, you can watch it in the previous Apple video. And again, if you've been buying companies and they've been losing money in the stock market or you're buying companies and they're not moving for many years, the stock is just staying relatively flat, the price or going down, learning fundamental analysis is also absolutely amazing. There's two ways to value stocks, fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Technical analysis was the charts I showed you in the beginning. Fundamental analysis is reading all their quarterly financials, their revenue reports, their profit and loss statements, cash flow statements, balance sheets, and you can learn how to do that also in Stock Guru Masterclass. Um, where you master the stock market, you can find that link in the description or the pinned comment or go to www.stockguru.us. And there you get an eight hour video course where you learn all this. I created the video course to be able to teach you. So instead of just watching my videos um, and doing trades based off my charting and what I've seen in stocks and the companies that I'm buying, you, you can learn this yourself, my 17 years worth of investing experience, buying companies and learn all the mistakes and, and laws and rules I have learned in that eight hour video course, you will master the stock market. You'll master how to do technical analysis. You'll know exactly when to buy stocks at what prices to enter your stock trades. You'll know exactly what companies are good companies for the long run using fundamental analysis. And that you can all learn in the Stock Guru Masterclass, um, that eight hour video course in the description, pin comment or stockguru.us. And the reason I do it is because I want you to learn. It's I, I can keep creating these videos and showing you, but I want you to learn how to do it yourself and you know for the rest of your life with this information, it's $200, but people have already made $100,000 off my Unity video just two weeks ago where I told you to buy Unity, $52 IPO. It's now more than $100, so 100% gain. Some people put in a million dollars, we have $2 million now, $100,000, $200,000. Even if you invested $1,000 on Unity, you have $2,000 just a few weeks later. Same with Twitter, up 50%, Facebook up 30%, many of the stock picks um, that we've been talking about. If you go down to Nikola, when I told you, based off the technical analysis, before Nikola dropped 70%. From 30 billion market cap to less than 9 billion market cap. And just since I released that video that I told you, get out, warning, get out of Nikola based off the technical analysis before that 70% drop. And you can learn all that in the Stock Guru Masterclass. So now let's go into the Dow Jones Industrial Average to look at the 30 biggest companies in America. Now we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the one hour charts. As I showed you in the last technical analysis on Apple, this is each of these candles is representing one hour. Um, here you can see how it's holding on this support right line before it dropped and dropped down to here. I predicted that in a video. I'll show you a clip of that. The stochastic is coming from the very oversold territory and crossing and heading back up again. And the RSI is still heading down. So we have a divergence here. And it looks like it's bounced off the support quite a few times. And now it's recently broken the support. One, two, three, fourth time. So we could have a fall here. Even though the stochastic is showing that it's in the oversold and the RSI is in the very in the oversold also, um, and the stochastic looked like it was curving back up, I think today we're going to have a downward day in the market. It might fall off this support here. The next possible support is the $27,000 mark. The reason it might fall off is because this second wave fears from the UK might be a big catalyst for a stock drop. And since that point, the Dow has been climbing in this ascending wedge. The 30 biggest companies in America, the American stock market, has been climbing beautifully within this wedge that I drew in using, again, the trend lines and trying to touch as many points as possible when you draw in the trend line. Um, and that's what seems to be happening. It's been climbing this trend line. And today, it looks like for today's trading day, Monday, the 12th of October, it does look like we're going to come down. However, we are being in the overbought territory for quite a while, but we are watching the stochastic to see if it crosses and heads down. If it crosses and heads down, we break out of this ascending wedge and we come to a support. And a stronger support here would be at the $28,000 mark um, before a bounce. That is possible in the next few days. If the stochastic doesn't cross down, if the stochastic stays in the overbought territory, um, then we keep heading in this ascending wedge, we keep climbing in this ascending wedge and coming to 29,000 and close to the all-time high for the Dow, which is a big resistance up here 
at the 29,183. However, it doesn't look like that to me. It looks like it has followed this ascending wedge for a while, but I see it might come out of it today. Um, it does look like the stochastic is starting to head down, but however, the RSI isn't. So we're really watching the stochastic to see if it crosses and heads down. But if I'm heading towards it does come down and comes to this 28,000 support, bounces and heads back into the wedge. However, if that's what I'm predicting happens, that's what more likely will happen. So we could have a red day the next two days in the market, dropping around 500 points or 250 points on the Dow each day. However, another... And it's not such a big difference. I, I would say around 60% chance it drops down and a 40% chance that it stays up in this um, ascending wedge and gets very tight. And on October 19th, we have a big deciding moment at that wedge, October 18th, um, or sorry, October 15th. So we have to see what happens here. That is possible. And then the stochastic and RSI would stay in the overbought territory. And then we have a deciding moment there. Or today, in the next few days, it comes down to this 28,000 support and bounces off, resetting the stochastic and RSI. To see what that happens, we have to be watching if what's going to happen exactly out of those two scenarios. We have to watch this sto um, stochastic on the day as it progresses during the trading day to see if it heads lower. So that's the technical analysis for the Dow. It looks like we could have a 250 point drop in the market, a red day in the market. So let's have a summary of Apple. So this was my analysis of Apple stock, AAPO. I really do like Apple and it's over one, it's $2 trillion company, which is amazing, very strong company with $240 billion in revenue. It's absolutely amazing with 20% profit margins. I would still rate Apple a buy because of the 35 PE ratio. It's quite low for such an amazing company with huge revenue. Even though they're at $2 trillion, I still rate Apple a buy. It's an amazing company. It has a, um, huge revenues and huge profit margins, 20% profit margins, which is amazing, even during the COVID pandemic. So Apple is still rated a buy. I would wait to that 101 target and best case scenario, $81 target to buy it. However, I don't think it is going that long. So a dollar cost average. Um, DCA is the biggest acronym for me in the stock market, dollar cost average. I highly recommend you research that and learn dollar cost averaging. It means buying your stocks monthly. You pick your 10 companies, um, five in diversified industries and five in tech companies, as I teach in the Stock Guru Masterclass in the description and pinned comment. Um, you buy your five companies and you do your 10 companies and you dollar cost average them each month. You buy the best companies that you want during the month where you think, but as long as you believe in these companies, as long as you want to be a business partner of these companies and hold and buy these companies, becoming a partner of companies, that's what the stock market is for. You become a business partner or part owner of Apple. When you buy Apple shares or Apple stocks, every time they sell an iPhone, you are the part owner of that business. You're getting profit from your stock capital increasing or your dividends. And that's the power of the stock market. You become a business partner with these large companies. So I rate Apple a buy. It's still amazing. I would enter. My best entry points would be at this $100 mark. I also see there is a possibility for the Dow to drop 200 points. However, if we're watching that stochastic very closely to see if that drop occurs. And now we've hit 5,000 subscribers. So amazing. Thank you so much, everyone, and all the stock gurus that are now subscribed and watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell, and you'll be notified of daily videos of each of these videos. For now, three months, we've been releasing almost daily videos, which is what are amazing. Watching the stock market, the charts of stocks, and predicting what's going to happen in the price. And we've been predicting amazing well with Unity up 100%. So a billion dollars invested in Unity is now two billion dollars. A thousand dollars is now two thousand dollars. A million dollars just a few weeks later is two million dollars. So amazing, anyone who bought this stock. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell, and be notified of these daily videos we also now because we have 5,000 members which is absolutely amazing i'm so humbled by that thank you everyone youtube has now activated a membership section for the stock guru so now we have a stock guru membership section so in that section we can you can all communicate together with like-minded stock investors so you're able to look at stocks find stocks that are going to have amazing moves anyone that's buying these stocks that we're looking at and really looking into them is a very intelligent person because they have similar mindsets to us and follow, fellow stock gurus are amazing smart people so talking to them in that membership section Section is going to be amazing you can become friends with like-minded people who are also investing and growing their money and understand have capital and that's a, joining the stock guru membership is amazing make sure you hit that join button um, in subscribe or you can see the link in the pinned comment to um, the youtube membership the stock guru membership also in that membership you'll be getting my live trades as i make any trades on my portfolio i'll put the entry point i put it whether i buy or sell stocks the price the limit price i set 
and the number of shares. And when I execute that trade, you'll see my trades live to my portfolio in the stock market. You'll see that in the YouTube membership program. So make sure you hit that join button. It's $99 a month. However, if you invested $1,000 just a month ago into Unity, you now have $2,000. So that $100 is very quickly made back. If you invested a million dollars when I told you just two months ago into Unity, you now have $2 million, that 100% gain. Same with Twitter up 50%, the same with um, Match Group up around 20% and many other companies that we've been analyzing. And you have to remember that these companies are not just stock, uh, not just cryptocurrencies that skyrocket up and then crash back down. These are big companies. These are companies with huge revenues. My goal is capital preservation, investing in big companies, tech companies with high growth, high revenue, profit margins are high, that are growing strong companies that have amazing return on investments and at the same time protecting capital. And that's what we're doing in the Stock Guru membership section. So I hope you have an amazing trading day. Let's all make a lot of money today on Monday's trading day and I'll see you again tomorrow.